guys, this is Brian with Wonder Arts and Adventures. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to show you some of my art, some of the things that I've done. Um, can't remember if I've shown everybody, but uh, I know you've seen some of it at an angle, but I want to show you up close. Hope you like this video. This is a little covered bridge painting uh, that I did when I was up and staying in Cleveland, Georgia. Uh, of course, it, it wasn't snowing at the time, but I decided well, I wonder what that looks like with snow, so I did it. This is a log cabin on a lake painting with the moon and the light shining. This looks peaceful to me. That's that's where my heart wants to be right now. This is a sea turtle painting I did. Uh, just started doing these recently, so I'm not that great at it, but I'm getting there. Jeep painting I did. I don't know if you know I told y'all but I'm into Jeeps so it looks like my first Jeep I had. Anyway. Yeah I do these for a lot of people you know in my club I'm in a Jeep club and we do a lot of riding around and stuff so I get requests to paint personalized Jeeps and This is one I did um, similar to mine, and uh, I just thought about the mountains in the background. I just wanted to try that out. This is another little log cabin painting I did. You know, I just I love the country. That's where I'm from. old country store painting. My grandmother had a store in North Georgia similar to this with the had the old gas pumps and the Coca-Cola stuff. Anyway, I just thought that'd be a fun little little doodle. And an old barn with the mountains and stuff and my clouds weren't that great then. I've been practicing trying to learn those a lot better, but that's one I did way back. This is one of my wood burnt signs that I did for me and my wife when we lived in the cabin. I've had a lot of time to sit around while I was going through chemo and radiation back then. So this is something that, you know, personalized, had our name on it, and then did our name in the tree and stuff. But, you know, it was a little hand sketch, and then some of the trees are stenciled, but the rest of it I, I hand drew. This little moose painting, I also did them for decor. Uh, you know, it was all one sheet of plywood and a wood burnt to make it look like a frame and everything. And this is also this is from uh, Cleveland, Georgia, where we were staying at. This is an old train locomotive that is sitting in front of a bookstore that looks like the depot. So I'd taken pictures of the train and I went home and sketched it out and drew it and then kind of, you know, added the color to it and stuff. But also, you know, I just kind of handmade the frame on there. It's all flat, you know, it just kind of acts in it. And this is one I just did recently. It's another wood burnt uh, painted resin. I've got to actually do a second coat of resin on this thing for somebody that's interested in it. But this was just like scrap wood that was laying around and I put a clamp and glued it and, and I don't know if you can see that, but glued it together, sanded it real good before I started. And here's, you know, the little surfboard I did on the other night's video. It's not as good as what I can do. 
And this, of course, this is the logo I did for my Wanderers, Arts, and Adventures. You'll see that it's open in my video on the beach. This is an old steam locomotive that, you know, I just kind of drew it out of my head. I kind of glanced at a picture or two of locomotives and everything, but, uh, you know, that's the way it turned out. Hey everybody, this is Brian here. I just wanted to show a few of our art we have displayed. This is a board that I cut out and my wife actually did the pour paint on. And it's got resin on it. This is another one of my wood burn with palm trees and as you can see at the bottom you know I let the natural the wood shine through so everything's just outlined in wood burn and then I went back and painted it's also coated with a resin you can see the shine on it there's another one of the old pier down here that I did it's also coated with resin but if you can see the wood grain the wood burn the natural wood shining through. What I did of a mermaid. I'm not that great at drawing people or the stuff, but anyway, this is also resin. Now this is another surfboard that I did. Um, you know, I hand drew kind of like a tiki guy on it and everything. Also coated in resin but it's a wood burn slash painting combo that I've been doing this is another little mermaid underwater scene with the resin coat another surfboard pour painted by Krista This is one I was experimenting with, with the pour paint. Tried to do a beach scene with uh, seashells and, uh, and all that good stuff to try to make it look like the water running, but didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. Uh, that's just wood scraps and I pressed and glued those together. And you can see it's shiny, it's coated with resin, so you can hang these outdoors if you like. Now this was my first pour paint, just to see if I could do as good as Krista done. But I liked it because it turned out like flames. I was thinking, man, if I could do that on skateboard decks back in the 80s, I would have paid some money. But yeah, this is just some of my art. This is a Jeep painting I did on 16 by 20 canvas. A little beach and seagull scene. A little pirate ship battle at sunset. Some of uh, Kristen's poor paints that I've got in uh, in my art booth. And this is one she did on our live. I mean, uh, on one of our videos. And this is a big crab on the beach at the sunset painting that I did. A little underwater shipwreck shark scene that I did with resin. This is a 16 by 20, that's beach waves. Some more of Krista's poor paintings that she's just done. This is a beach bonfire scene that I did, just doodling on 
really look at anything when I do these. I just sit and think about what comes in my head. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you all, all this stuff. I'll show you more at one of my other venues pretty soon. All right, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you see anything or, or think of anything you'd like to see me paint, please, you know, like, subscribe, drop me a comment, let me know, challenge me. I'm always up for a challenge. So anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. Have a good evening and we'll see you next time.